but we weirded off quite a ways and it got me thinking you know such as in life you follow a path that looks good that seems right but then there comes a point where things start looking a little odd and you're like wait a minute is this it We're about to start our Camino Portugués from Porto to Santiago de Compostela. We're Melvin and Lilia, and this is our journey. Beautiful start to that spiritual variant. This is such a good contrast from road walking. Yeah, this There's is so much road walking. There's actual earth under my feet. It's soft and cushiony. And forest all around. que ya está cruzando ahí mucha gente que han abierto caminitos. I just wanted to share that I had my fastest getting out of bed experience this morning. I'm pretty sure I broke a record of quietest and fastest. Uh, Compared to who? <laughs> Compared to what? <laughs> Because I've been in the opposite extreme for so long. It makes a difference for the people around you uh, to not be woken up by every early bird that decides to get up at five in the morning. Learn and master the technique of, you know, the ninja exit out of your bed. Hot tip for the day.
When does the truest version, most beautiful version of Melvin come out? Are you aware? I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> it's actually when he listens to people's stories um, and gets so touched by them and finds so much beauty in, in their stories that he then collects them and as we go you start telling stories of other people you've met of other special moments on the Camino and it's really heartwarming and beautiful to it just, it just shows such love and care for the people around you um, and that feels like one very true Hard at you. Aww. <laughs> or you tell. No oh, thanks. <laughs> An would... Angels don't boast. <laughs> oh, now. <laughs> now. I'm a humble angel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> off quite a ways and it got me thinking you know such as in life you follow a path that looks good that seems right that generally follows the direction you you're intending to go and you assume you're on the path but then there comes a point where things start looking a little odd and you're like, wait a minute, is this it? And you stop and thank God to have a navigation system because if you don't have a navigation system, that's going to be a little, a little extra. Thank God we have a navigation system checked. And sure enough, we were way off trail. Yep. But we can retrace our steps. We can return. This act of return is the classic, or rather, the continual call of God to return to His ways, to the ways of God. An invitation to return and rejoin the path and I'm realizing as I walk back it's a process the returning is a journey it's a process it's not instant oh and look there's our clearly marked arrow clearly marked right there clearly To the orange one. Maybe we missed the top. Yeah. Maybe the top one was covered by the branches.
magical place. This is some of the most beautiful landscape we've seen in the trip so far. Why are you in such a hurry? So I want to go there and then I want to go over there and have another beer and have a dessert. Did you see the big gigantic sign? No. <laughs> okay. That's okay. Just taking some video. <laughs> so we can remember. Thank you.